Welcome to the Common Man Football Show. My name is James Coburn, and today's episode, we're going to be talking about Hercules Maraafa, the defensive tackle slash defensive end, at least that's what his projection looks like for the NFL level due to size of Washington State. And this is going to be an interesting video because we're going to look at Hercules Maraafa uh, based on what his defensive end is data like if you take his data and you put it in with the defensive ends slash three four outside linebackers what does he look like and then we're also going to look at him from a defensive tackle perspective uh and give you some sort of thoughts uh there uh and kind of go from there because he's one of the more intriguing prospects in this draft class just because he was a hyper productive player as an interior uh defensive tackle pl uh player but he's just not going to play that position at the next level because of his size and his other sort of measurables. And we'll have a better idea about what his actual size is once the combine rolls around, uh, which is going to be very, very soon, by the way. In fact, the combine's probably going to be happening while you're listening to this video, by the way. But the bottom line is I wanted to do this video just to get some of the, con the, the production concerns of Hercules Monofa and just to give you some perspective in terms of what he might look like as a 3-4 outside linebacker size defensive end, and then what his defensive tackle data says about him as well. Um, in many ways, he's like a poor man Solomon Thomas because Solomon Thomas was a very similar type of player who produced as an interior player, but was probably more suited as an edge player, if you will. Um, and that's essentially what Hercules Manafa is as well from a size perspective. But, uh, but let's get into it. So first off, all terms and definitions are gonna be in the description. So if you're new to the channel and you're new to the stuff that I talk about on, on this uh, video, uh, like market share data, you can just go there and all the sort of terms and definitions will be there. But the only major thing you really need to know is defensive market share. And it's essentially this. You take individual defensive data. So, or, uh, so for example, if a defensive end or defensive tackle has 10 sacks on a team that has 40 sacks, uh, then that defensive tackle had 25% sack market here. But what you do is, is you take that performance and you compare it to every single performance since the 1989 NFL draft class at the respective position. And then you have a way of comparing, okay, this is how the multiple all pro players typically perform when it came to sack data, when it came to TFL data, when it came to solo tackle data, and this is how this guy performed. So it's basically giving you a perspective uh, on a guy as to how productive they were and the types of players that produced like him to give you some perspective in terms of what his potential could be at the next level based on his overall data. So first off, let's look at Hercules Mata'afa in terms of his 4-3 defensive tackle data uh, and then get to his 3-4 uh, outside linebacker slash defensive end data to give you some perspective about how he looks when you take his data and, and put it in there. And then also look at Solomon Thomas in terms of what his data looked like and why I'm making sort of this production comparison, I guess, between the two. Um, and why I kind of say that Hercules Madoff is like a poor man Solomon Thomas. Um, but first off, when you look at Hercules Madoff's uh, defensive tackle data, um, he performed extremely well. Uh, had a 92.80 solo tackle uh, data score, 94.55 sack score, and a 96.98 uh, tackle for loss score. Um, based on this data, he looks more like a Pro Bowl, uh, sort of a potential Pro Bowl 4-3 defensive tackle uh, based on his production data uh, than an All-Pro type because the All-Pro types are, you know, really, really high, you know, 99.42 and, and those other sort of areas. But he is fairly close to the All-Pro threshold when it comes to defensive tackle. It's just you have to wonder about his size. Uh, again, that's the biggest issue with Hercules Manafa is his size profile. Uh, and then, of course, when you look at the averages at the position, so this is Hercules Manafa in terms of the av in terms of what his score is and the average All Pro average score, Pro Bowl average score, and starter score. And Hercules Manafa again looks a l he's very very close to the averages of All Pro player uh, and Pro Bowl player, uh, etc. When it comes to his overall data. Um, so this is the basic thing with, with Hercules Manafa is he's very, very close to all pro potential based on his overall data. But again, this is him. This is his data as an interior defensive tackle, which is the position that he played in college, but he might not play that position at the NFL level, which is why when you take his data and you put it in with the, the DN slash 3-4 outside linebacker types, it doesn't come out as well. 
to a certain extent. Um, had a 79.84 solo tackle mark share score, 58.60 sack score, and a 78.76 um, tackle for loss score. Uh, again, when you look at this data, he's very, very close to the all pro threshold when it comes to solo tackle data. He's a couple points away from the Pro Bowl threshold when it comes to sack data. Uh, and then when you look at TFL data, he's pretty much above the, the score when it comes to TFL data. But again, the big thing to remember is this is not even this is not the most kosher thing to do with data. Like taking taking a player who played inside and putting his data with other guys who played on the outside, you're asking for funny business. So I just did this to kind of humor people and kind of give you some perspective on concerns and stuff like that. But the one thing I will say though is the good thing about Hercules Manoff is that no matter whether you put him with the defensive tackles, you put him with the defensive ends, he still comes out pretty well. Comes out better with the defensive tackles, but he does still perform fairly well even when you compare him to the defensive ends. And this is with him being handicapped a bit because again, players that usually play inside don't really get a ton of sacks, don't really get a ton of TFLs, uh, you know, tackle for, tackles for losses because they're playing inside. You know, they have less opportunities um, it's a little tougher to get sacks on the inside than it is on the outside, so to speak. Um, so the fact that Mercury's Monoff was still able to test fairly well from a production standpoint for a guy that was playing inside compared to guys who play on the outside is a good testament in terms of what his potential could be at the next level. Which brings us to Solomon Thomas. The reason why I, I talk about Solomon Thomas and Hercules Monoff, uh, or at least why it's, I say that Hercules Monoff is like a poor man Solomon Thomas, is because their production is very similar, but Solomon Thomas was sort of the superior version of that. So for example, this was Solomon Thomas in terms of him as a defensive end. So when you took Solomon Thomas's data and you put it into the defensive ends, even though he mainly played as an interior rusher at Stanford, um, Solomon Thomas did perform very well too in terms of solo tackle data and TFL data. He's better which is why, again, I, I, th this is why I say Solomon Thomas is like a rich man's version of Hercules Monofa because Solomon Thomas had 90 plus percentile solo tackle data and, and 86 percentile tackle for loss data, but had the similar issue in terms of his sack data. You know, very, uh, both Hercules Monofa and, Sol and Solomon Thomas have very similar um, sack data. And then, of course, you look at Solomon Thomas as an interior rusher, did perform very well and from that perspective you know 97.18 in terms of solo tackle data 89.49 in terms of sack data and 95.23 in terms of tackle for loss data and this is him compared to four three defensive tackles uh, just to give you uh, that perspective so um, and I'm not going to give you the averages because I already showed you the averages at least for um, Hercules Monofa but um, that's the big thing with Hercules Monofa is that his size tells you that this is a guy that's most likely going to be playing as a outside guy and you have to do things that aren't necessarily kosher like take his data as an interior player and put it on the outside he still looks good he's not quite as good as Solomon Thomas was you know when it comes to solo tackle data and TFL data but he's still fairly decent despite not being as as good as Solomon Thomas and I think the combine will be a very good thing to kind of see what his actual size is, what his actual you know height, weight, length, um, and, and athleticism. Because the one thing I can say about Solomon Thomas is that Solomon Thomas produced like he produced like I showed you. And on top of that, Solomon Thomas also had elite level athleticism for uh, a defensive end. Whereas Hercules Monofa, we don't know what his athleticism data is. He, it might be elite, it might not be elite, but that's one thing that we're going to find out. Um, but overall, the thing I would say about Hercules Monofa is very similar to Solomon Thomas is the fact that he was interior rusher with a body type of a of a of an outside rusher is really going to lower his value a bit in the draft. But I still think, like Solomon Thomas last year, that if he tests well and all those other sort of things go well for for Hercules Mata'afa, I still think there's potential that he could end up being a outside rusher in the right scheme. He was able to produce very very well undersized at the college level and because of that i think there's still that potential that if you put him outside he could take a lot of the things that he did on the inside to the outside and still be a very productive player at the nfl level um, so overall we'll see what happens with hercules Monofa. but let me know in the comment section below 
What do you think is the ultimate role for Hercules Mata Alpha? Uh, do you like him? Uh, and, uh, you know, just sort of general thoughts and opinions about him, I guess, in terms of his overall profile. Because he is someone who's a bit of a unique player in this draft class. Almost very unique to like Salma Thomas was last year, except Salma Thomas is like the rich man's version of him. Um, and of course, uh, my name is James Coburn. Uh, you can find my other work at draftcoburn at wordpress.com. You can also follow me on Twitter at Gemetrics. And if you like this content and you want more content like this, uh, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. Uh, share this video as well with anybody that you know. Uh, hit that notification button so that you're always reminded when another video of mine drops. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Thank you.